Good morning and welcome to the 14th annual commencement ceremony for the California Military Institute. At this time, I'd like to welcome our teacher and commandant, Captain David Sibley, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem. During the Pledge of Allegiance and the playing of the National Anthem, military personnel, active duty, retirees, and veterans are authorized to render the appropriate hand salute. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of colors. As we recite the Pledge of Allegiance, place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the plan of our national anthem. The national anthem will be played by CMI Band on the direction of Mr. Michael Tatum. Please remain standing as the colors marches off. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. We are honored today by your presence and the presence of those sitting here on and around the stage with me, I would like to introduce from the Paris Union High School District Board of Trustees, Dr. Randy Freeman. I'd also like to thank the Paris Union High School District cabinet members for being here, Superintendent Mr. Grant Bennett, Ms. Candace Rains, Deputy Superintendent of Business Services, Mr. Robert Bruff, Assistant Superintendent of Educational Services. Mr. Kirk Skorpanich, Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources. And Mr. Joseph Williams, Executive Director of Technology. I would also like to thank Dr. Rebecca Beagle, our Assistant Principal, and Mr. Miles Henderson, Assistant Principal of California Military Institute, and all our amazing certificated and classified staff who make this day very special. Class of 2022, here you are. Did you ever think this day would come? Everything that you've had to face in the last few years. You truly represent incredibly resilient cadets. I'm speaking to you directly. What you had to overcome to get to this point is truly remarkable in so many ways. You had to deal with a worldwide pandemic that forced you to have to get your education online at home for almost a year and a half. You did not see your classmates for that entire time or your teachers. And I know that you missed out on some sports, trips, many other experiences. And in talking to you, you share that with me. What makes you so special is that it would have been so easy to give up to blame everything on the difficult situations that you had to face 
and to stop working. But you didn't do that. Class of 2022 did not do that. You displayed a positive attitude and a resilience that I so admire in you. You adjusted, and like we say in the military, you adjusted and overcame the challenges that life threw at you, and you succeeded in spite of them. And what's amazing is that your internal struggles were real, but you overcame them. The class of 2022 did something amazing. After coming back from COVID, you received a superior AGI rating. I mean, who does that? That is absolutely incredible. You have the highest number of graduates going to UCLA. One of your very own is going to Harvard. And so many of you are going to top universities, military, or local colleges. You're ready for a career of your choice. How did you accomplish that? I keep asking myself. How did you deal with the internal struggle? And what can we learn from you? Because I know I learned from you. So as I was thinking about this, I was reminded of a story, and you know I love stories. I was reminded of a story told to me, very old native Indian story about the two wolves. And so an old Cherokee was teaching his grandchildren about life. And he had them sitting on his knees and talking to them, teaching them about life. And so he said to his grandchildren, a battle is raging inside me. It's a terrible fight between two wolves. One wolf represents fear, anger, envy, sorrow, regret, greed, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority, and ego, said the old man. But the second wolf, now that wolf stands for something different. That second wolf stands for joy, peace, love, hope, sharing, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, friendship, empathy, generosity, truth compassion, and faith. And so the old man looked at the children with a firm stare as only a grandpa can do. And as he was staring in his grandchildren's eyes, he said, this same fight is going on inside you and inside every other person here today. And so the grandchildren thought about what the grandpa just said for a minute, and then one child asked a profound question. He said, Grandpa, which wolf will win? And so the old Cherokee grandpa replied, Son, it's the one that you decide to feed. Class of 2022, it is very clear to me that you succeeded because you fed the right wolf. Class of 2022, you have taught us adults with your example that you made a choice to feed the wolf that stands for joy and peace and love and hope and sharing and humility and kindness, benevolence, friendship, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. And I want to thank you today for that example. And I want to thank you for leaving that legacy at CMI. I send you off into the big wide world with the world, words of English Prime Minister Winston Churchill who faced some really incredible odds during World War II. And when he got tired and his people got tired of fighting the Nazis, he stood up and made the shortest speech ever recorded, only using three phrases. Three phrases and I leave you with those three phrases when you get tired never give up never give up never give up I will miss you and wish you all the best in your future endeavors at this time please welcome our Paris Union High School District clerk dr. Randall Freeman who will be our honored guest speaker dr. Freeman
Thank you. As I stand here in the shade and I see all everybody out there wearing black gowns and waving their programs, I realize that you want me to talk for about half an hour. <laughs> but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep this very short. Since we're young, everybody says, what do you want to be when you grow up? And how many of you, when you were five or six years old, said you wanted to be a, a spaceman or an astronaut or a firefighter? And how does that relate to what you're doing now? Well, I'm going to tell you one thing that I know that you should be. And that is kind. I'll give it a real short example. Last week, there was a school that had a combined junior and senior high school, such as CMI. There was a seventh grade boy who was very introverted, very shy. When he got his yearbook, two teachers and two students signed his book. One of those two students was himself. He was crying and some senior students came around and they saw what was going on. They got together and they got about a hundred of them to come over and not only to sign, but to say something really nice to him in his yearbook. And it made him so happy. It made his year. And I want you to thank you that the next time that you're in a position where you can show your kindness. And with that, best of luck in your future. Thank you, Dr. Freeman. And first of all, congratulations to these fine about to be graduates, especially to their families who have worked so hard for this day. I know my own daughter just graduated high school and I know how everyone is so proud of all of you here today. Class of 2022, so please join me and give a round of applause to all the teachers and staff who have worked, worked so hard to support you and help this day to be a success. Your parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, tias, Yes. I ask all the teachers and staff of CMI to stand and be recognized. All the teachers and staff of CMI, stand and be recognized. Let's give them a round of applause. They deserve it. Thank you so much. This class of 2022 is unique and inspiring. Student cadets have earned over half a million dollars in financial aid through federal Pell Grants and Cal Grant programs. More than 40 are attending University of California, California State University, and other four-year universities. 65% will be attending community college technical school, doesn't have plans to join one of the branches of the United States Armed Forces. The class of 22 is comprised of 107 student cadets, and of that number, 65% took all the coursework necessary for admission to university and had great point averages that will qualify them for this admission. This truly is one of the most successful graduating classes ever. Class of 2022 is amazing. And what a better way to illustrate that than to have one of your own speak to you today. And so at this time, I'd like to introduce Cadet Jordan Wen, the salutatorian for the class of 22. Jordan, come on up, sir. Uh, good morning. As you've heard, I'm Jordan Wen, and I'm the salutatorian for the graduating class of 2022. I would first like to welcome and thank the parents, teachers, faculty, guardsmen, administrators, and the esteemed guests here today for coming to witness our graduation. <laughs> As for my fellow graduates, we finally made it. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> I'm honored to be the class of 2022 salutatorian, and with this distinction, I was given the task of writing this speech. As I was brainstorming, I started to reminisce about my time spent at CMI and how it began. I can say with confidence that most of the seniors here had no idea they would spend the rest of their time in high school, in a military school. I know I'm not the only one here who remembers the days when we would ask our parents to move us to a different school, but as the years went by, and most likely with encouragement from our parents to stay, I'm sure we all slowly realized that maybe CMI wasn't so bad. And to be 
fair. We ended up graduating at Paris High anyways. <laughs> I know most of us are too stubborn to admit it, but CMI has made us all better as people and prepared us for the real world. I believe I could speak for the majority of the senior class of 2022 that the adults at CMI truly care about us and our future. Please give them a round of applause for helping us today. With that being said, I would like to give my greatest thanks to my mom. Thank you for always working hard and allowing me to accomplish my goals and dreams. I love you, mom. Now, class of 2022, give your parents or guardian a round of applause as a sign of thanks. Now, although all of us have had different experiences, we've all had learned something throughout our time at CMI. I'm sure all of us have, ha have had to cram for Mr. Hong's crazy test or had to face the daily struggle of figuring out what to wear to school. <laughs> but I'd like to share one lesson I learned over the past few years that I hope you will take with you after into your future. As some of you may know, I was the captain for the CMI's volleyball varsity team. I joined in freshman year and our season ended with a disappointing 0-15 finish. <laughs> As embarrassing as it is to announce to the world, this season would end up teaching me a valuable lesson. I learned that being a winner isn't defined by failures, but by the persistence to keep trying. Even after my 0-15 finish, I kept practicing. This constant strive to become better would eventually lead me to have my best season yet. I want everyone here to know that your failures do not define you, because if you put your mind to it, anything is possible. To end off my speech, um, I'll give you a quote from my favorite character. Don't stop fighting. You must keep going, even if you are the only one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you, Jordan. I'm proud to welcome our valedictorian cadet Katura Weeks to the stage. Give her a round of applause, please. Superintendent Bennett, Dr. Milos, members of the CMI faculty, guardsmen, family, and friends, make some noise for the graduating class of 2022. My name is Katura Weeks, and it is an honor to be a part of this August occasion. Four years ago, I stood before you all to deliver a speech for our promotion from middle school to high school. And now, Four years later, I stand before you all as your valedictorian. And in that speech, I asked you all to think back to your first day of school. When I think back, I envision a little 11-year-old Katura who's nervous and confused about wearing a uniform instead of her normal rainbow tutu and emoji t-shirt. Thank you for laughing at my elementary school fashion choices. I said, Day by day, it seemed like nothing changed. But looking back on everything, we've come a really long way. And that statement is still very true. We have come a long way. You set new records in FAFSA completion, college acceptances, and scholarship awards. We brought home statewide and national recognition, made it the playoffs in almost all of our sports, and several of us hold some of the highest leadership positions in the state of California. And this is something I'd never thought I'd get to say, but we survived all of Mr. Hong's classes. So even in the midst of a global pandemic that has disrupted every aspect of normalcy that we once had in our lives, we still prevail. But that's nothing new for CMI. We don't get anything by chance. We work and we grind and we sacrifice until we get exactly what we deserve. We've learned from experience that nothing comes freely but we recognize that we didn't get to this point alone. Graduates, look around you. <laughs> Observe all of those that surround us, those that have worked and paid the ultimate sacrifice to be here with us today. My family hails from a small country on the west coast of Africa, Liberia, and even after escaping, <laughs> that's them, you hear them? <laughs> And even after escaping a brutal civil war and coming to the United States with nothing, my family's sacrifice is why I stand here today. And I know that all of us are here today with someone that has devoted their entire life to our success. Thank you families, 
friends, and loved ones for your dedication to the betterment of our futures. Graduates and families, please give yourselves a round of applause. And to the teachers, administrators, and faculty that have worked tirelessly to ensure that we are provided with the best education possible, thank you. Thank you for putting up with our muted mics and blacked out cameras for a year and a half. Thank you for keeping your cool with even our most disruptive class clowns. Thank you for arriving early and leaving eight late. You represent our core values every day, and we are indebted to you. To the custodians, security guards, and office staff that work constantly to keep our school afloat, thank you. To the guardsmen that maintain our standard of excellence every day, thank you, to your ser thank you for your service to our school and our country. I didn't become a valedictorian by chance. This achievement came from the countless hours of dedication, support, and guidance from those that have and will continue to support me throughout my years. Thank you, Mrs. Palmer, for your constant guidance and heartfelt advice. Thank you, Captain Sibley, for your sternness and compassion. We all know that you expect nothing but excellence, but we perform at a higher standard thanks to you. Thank you, Ms. Collins, for your energy and encouragement. We know you're not here, but please get well soon. Thank you, Ms. Cunningham, for taking on the ever-growing battle with mental health and wellness that young people are experiencing every day. Thank you, Mr. Rhodes, for teaching us that we can, no matter how hard it seems. And thank you, Staff Sergeant Arias, for your strength and wisdom. You shaped me in ways that I cannot express, and may you rest in peace. Throughout my leadership here, my leadership journey here at CMI, I've been met with remarkable experiences that have shaped who I am and the person that I aspire to become. My CMI family has taught me not to be defined by the obstacles I've had to overcome, but rather by the path that I'm paving for others that follow. I'd like to close with a statement from one of the greatest speakers, or from one of the greatest speeches of all time, by one of the greatest speakers of all time, if I do say so myself. So in the speech that I delivered in the eighth grade, I used some pretty wise words which still ring true today. Greatness is something that truly exists in all of us, and it's our choice to show it, to prove to ourselves and the people around us that our greatness is here. We represent the idea that we can make possible what we want to be possible. I said that in the eighth grade at 13 years old. <laughs> Pretty impressive, right? But from meeting the president of the United States to being accepted into Harvard University, we are who we choose to be, and I choose to be great. What about you? I'm Katura Weeks, the CMI class of 2022 class president and valedictorian, and I wouldn't be going to Harvard if it weren't for all of you. Thank you so much for allowing me to deliver this speech. Thank you. Well done, Kathura, and I look forward to your presidential speech a few years from now. Mr. Bennett, it is my distinct honor to certify to you that student cadets gathered here before you have met the requirements for graduation as set forth by the governing board of the California Military Institute, the Paris Union High School District and the state of California. Mr. Bennett, I present to you the class of 2022. Thank you, Dr. Milosavljevic. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I accept your certification of these students. Based upon that certification, I now declare that these students are graduates of the California Military Institute of the Parish Union High School District. Congratulations, class of 2022. I'd like to invite Ms. Moore, our dedicated counselor, and Mr. Valdovinos, our avid coordinator, and this year's class of 22 senior advisor, to read the names of graduates. Class, please follow the directions of your senior teacher, Mr. Nichols, as you begin moving towards the stage. Folks, as they're doing so, I wanna say that this is a time for celebration. So the usual rules about holding your applause until the end just do not apply here today. Go ahead and celebrate. Just be considerate of others who are wanting to celebrate their graduation success as well. Miguel Angel Martinez. Woo! 
Abigail Alpipot. Chioma Amadi. Michelle Hernandez. Hola, BC. Hola, Oleaton. Eric Quintana. Katura Weeks. Jordan Wynn. Marquise Brown. Edward Rubacalba. Ariana Calderon. Gemma Ortiz. Trinity Partida. Brianna Martinez. Seferino de Avila. Elvira Alvear. Bryant Limon. Esmerelda Flores. Sandra Talavera. Cristina Hernandez. Rosalyn Beltran. Diana Rose Rodriguez. Anaí Munguia. Marvin Casillas. Jose Antonio Rodriguez. Jonathan Anthony Caudillo. Natalie Ariana Polito. Wendy Camarillo. Ariakna Chavez Nunez. Jesus Chavez. Janelli Navarrete. Teron Parker Wynn. Marcus Gray Briones. Anthony Ragabar. Savannah Hakome. Mariano Nunez. Dimitri Estrada. Nathaniel Silva. John Keoli. Eduardo Alejo de la Cruz. Heidi Olivas. Gabriel Luis Caipo Santiago Carmichael. Diana Ayard. Gabriel Yanez Jr. Victor Estevez. 
Jordan Vertigo. Chloe Vargas. Ben Katubai. Anissa Venegas. Marlene Ochoa. Jasmine Carbajal. Belinda Nicole Altamirano Chavez. Anna Suzette Avila Huerta. Yvette Tatiana Lopez. Michael Alexander Pinedo. Richard Anthony Mendoza. Gonzalo Arias. Jackson Gonzalez. Emiliano Arevalo. Sebastian Lopez. Miguel Poblano. George Aviles. Christian Zavala. Trent Thornburg. Emmanuel Gonzalez. Daniel Collin. Jasmine Monreal. Esbady Mendoza. Heidi Alvarado. Christian Arroyo Sotelo. Esteban Tapia. Desiree Herrera. Michelle Flores Gutierrez. Maritza Flores Santillan. Miranda Carmona. Lily Carroll. Eric Gonzalez. Jonathan Lopez. Abraham Beltran. Ashley Cabrera. John Castellan. Martha Rodriguez. Emily McClure. Marcus Avant Alcala Diaz. Kalia Marie Roebuck Smith. Freddy Sanchez. Carla Perez. Angel Ochoa. Isabel Denise Mendoza. Itzel Denise Mendoza. Deniza Mora. Mariela Orozco. Isabel Navarrete. Daisy Aranda. Brittany Arredondo. Emily Murillo Vega. Andy Bernal. Brandy Elizabeth Ramos. David Levas. 
Victor Vergara. Nathan Gabriel. Dylan Elmore. Leilani Velasquez Garcilazo. Gabriela Zuniga. Brody Johnson. Karina Gounder. Crystal Flores. If you're wondering what we were doing, it's an old tradition, I believe, Mr. Bennett uh, instituted. We take a photo with the last member of the graduating class. So, round of applause. And I promise not to lose my marbles. <laughs> Whoever gave me those, I really appreciate that. So, at this time, I would like to invite Cadet Colonel Kathura to the stage to issue the last command. Before I issue the last command, parents and families, I would like to invite you guys to join us and explain this tradition. So um, it's a CMI tradition for the cadet commander who's graduating to issue their last command to the graduating class. One thing we say every day at the end of formation is the commanding officer will yell rough riders and the graduating class will respond leading the charge. Families, I invite you to yell as, along with the, the graduating class. So when I say Rough Riders, everyone's gonna yell leading the charge. I hope we get that. Okay. Graduating class of 2020, please stand. <clears throat> Attention. Graduates, take your right hand and place it on your tassel. Move it to the left to signify that we have officially graduated. Rough Riders! Lead the charge! Congratulations!